everybody welcome back to my channel I'm gonna be looking at a game called Steel Ocean it's available in English and simplified Chinese it's been made by Ice Entertainment publisher is changyu.com limited came out on the 12th of November 2015 plays very similar to world of tanks world of planes more planes and it's in similar theme in that it's World War Two era. You've got your barracks, you've got your tech tree. As you can see here it goes on quite a bit. All the way up to here. Midway, CMB plan, Illinois. And you have currency, you have silver and stars and gold which I have none of let's go to port I have the Minikaze I have the Cadwell and I have the V170 let's go this is the one I've improved it's the one I've done the most amount of research on as you can see the Mitsubishi Turbi Turbine Kai I don't have enough currency for this I need stars gold coins I've maxed out everything out Tenryu Matsuki Kawashi row 1 1 so we're gonna take ship XP can I get this are you sure you want to use the Minikaze XP to research ship you're yeah, right why not 240 ship AXP and 0 global AXP any presents? no let's go back to port ok we need gold in order to get more ships buy ship empty slot I have no idea where it's gone Anyway, let's go back to port. Let's get in the game. So because this, this isn't planes, it's a lot easier. It follows the same way that tanks do. That it's a lot easier to move around, navigate and control with WASD. It's a bit like Heroes, I suppose. You can speed up using W, I believe. We're just going to play a normal flag mode game. So basically, deathmatch, team deathmatch, but you have to control uh, your flag section. I think that's that's how they make the game move. They keep the flow of the game moving instead of just everybody staying away from long range. So my ship does have missiles or torpedoes, I should say. And here we are with the green team. And we can press um, shift to get a can zoom in using the scroll key press shift press one and two two is our torpedoes one is our main artillery salvo let's get out of it let's turn right using the s key sorry d key wasd does everything Stop quarter speed advance. So depending on which side we are, you can see the little green and reds there. That's the amount of weapons we can use. Also bought some smoke bombs. If we press the R key, we can move. We can set our speed. You probably hear the little bell. That's our speed being maintained so we don't have to hold down W all the time. Let's avoid crashing. So yeah, I don't think we take damage from people we crash into. At least I haven't crashed yet. R and F control whether or not we're Where is everybody going? 
Okay, that's where the pie's at. So the flag's right in the center as you can see. You can see in the bottom right map which way our light is showing. It indicates neutral zone occupied by the enemy. We need to get to the center and nobody's next to it. 5%, 6%. Get there quick. Let's switch to two. These are our. Okay, we've got somebody in the flag zone, so it's okay. It's gone down to 2%. We've got two free ships. Okay, so I'm moving ahead slowly. Turn left a bit. Here we go. If we slow down, we get better accuracy. The main artillery. Gotta watch out for the torpedoes that will come my way. Let's get closer. Let's see what's up ahead. Holy crap! I want to get one of these ships. in line. Let's fire a torpedo. Can we get him? Uh oh, we're in danger. Yes, I can see it. It goes well past us to the left there. I will evasively maneuver. What is this guy doing? Let's fire full battery. Yeah, let's switch over to our normal guns. Let's press shift. Zoom in actually. So the idea is you keep moving. I think we got them a little bit. Was it us? Probably not. No, nope, you missed them. Let's fire ahead. Reloading. Let's fire ahead. Reloading. Minus 40 on there, so that's nice. Yes, I will break through the enemy's arm. Turn right. Nope, close enough. They're finished. Zoom back in. in there. Here goes another ship. Can we reach them? Well, they're finished. So we're fully green. Depending on which way, which way we're facing, we can use the main artillery right at the back. You can see the turrets turning, I believe. Um, they're in front of us, it's okay. It's okay. We're fine. Nope, too far away, hey? Somebody's firing at you. Yep, you get destroyed. Let's go ahead for this ship here. Can we reach you? Not yet. We're an autopilot. Neutral zone occupied by ally allies. So if you control it for too long, you win. We get you. 
I don't need a spare to reach you yet. There he is, back on the radar. Let's fire ahead. Loading. Get him. Almost. Switch to two. Torpedoes. Let's turn around. Somebody's firing at you. Reload. Turn around on this guy. Reloading. Come on. I want this kill. Just left click. Circle him. Anything yet? Nope, still reloading. Let me get destroyed before I have a chance. Switch over to our normal guns. Almost. And it's been destroyed. Let's get over there. It's taking you a lot of damage. We've almost obliterated the other team. Where's this guy going? We're gonna hit him. Too thick, eh? Let's avoid hitting him. Oh wow, that's it. That's victory. game. That's a simple game. It does feel a little bit short. Victory is allied destroyed all enemy ships. Damn straight. Ocean war flag. Ocean war flag mode. It's quite nice. Global EXP 35. XP 714. We've got 285 silver. VIP time. Nope. It's gonna be me. That's quite nice. That's my personal. And then the team. Would be nice if it pops up. Total damage 247. Enemies destroyed, I destroyed zero. This guy here, Blau Blauhelm, they were, did three. It's not bad. Well, there you go. Details. Silver lost, zero. Silver gained. So, yeah, that's it. It's pretty much similar to World of Warplanes, etc. Except because you're not dealing with all three axes in the same way, it's a lot easier to play. Just maneuvering around left and right. But until you get the better ships, I doubt you can move as fast. You can do research here quickly. Confirm research of engine Mitsubishi Turbine Kai 2 DD. Okay. That used up the resources up here. So we've done that. Confirm purchase and installation of. Yep. So we've got that now gone up to one, three, and now four. And now we have this ship here, which is the Roll 1-1, one, one, which we can slowly upgrade as well. Not enough. Oh well, let's go back. Ok, 
Okay, and that's really it. Let's go back to port. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you like this little review. It's not much um, in terms of details. You can go over settings. Um, as you'd expect, just like World of Warplanes, etc. You get quite a few options. I have full HD, so that's fine. You can choose ultra, high, recommended, etc. Environment quality. V-Sync on or off really, uh, bloom effect, light shafts, fire effects, um, audio, master volume, background music, ambient, combat voice system, speaker, microphone volume, so pretty much everything you need. Controls, you can pretty much change that, not that there's that much to change, uh, unless you're a submarine they can dive, then you can surface it as well. Interface, you can choose what you want. It's nice. Okay, even shows you that what disappears durability bar. That's nice. Or health bar, I suppose. Alternative keyboard, in range, combat hard, etc. Thanks for watching. Check out the game, it is free. The music's alright. Bit sad though. Thanks for watching, guys.